we're here at the Pima Air and Space Museum with our Lucian IL-2 Sturmovik. Um, the Sturmovik was the most produced military aircraft in history with 36,000 built. It's an interesting aircraft that it's made out of multiple different materials. The cockpit and the engine is all kind of behind armored steel. The inner wing is kind of aluminum like you'd expect. And then the outer wing is all made out of wood with metal struts and obviously metal fixtures and stuff. And the rear fuselage is also made out of wood with the horizontal being made out of metal and the vertical being uh, wood and metal and fabric. These aircraft could take up quite a bit of punishment. You know, they were designed to just kind of get in there and be protect, be protect their air crew from ground attack fire, um, whether it was, you know, you know, 20 millimeter cannons or machine guns or light weaponry. Um, they had bomb bays underneath the wings um, where the weapons, uh, where the bomb bays were, they had rocket um, slots out on the wings for rails for rockets. Um, they had cannons in the wings and also machine guns. The cockpit is, if you notice, the front windshield is made out of laminated armored glass I and mean, the thing is ridiculously thick. Um, this aircraft itself was uh, restored from a wreck um, from a lake in Russia near Leningrad. This aircraft was shot down on, well, I was going to say on its last mission, it was obviously its last <laughs> mission, but it was shot down near the end of the siege of Leningrad. It was during winter. Looking at the recovered wreck, um, it looks like it took some fire in the um, radiator cooler vent there on the bottom, which probably caused the engine to overheat. So they made an emergency landing on a frozen lake. The crew got out. It ended up sinking in the lake after the ice melted. And then back in the um, 88 or 89, the Russian Navy recovered this aircraft because this actually did fly with the Russian Navy, not the Russian Air Force, but they were all doing the same thing around Leningrad. It's not like this thing was, you know, slinging torpedoes around. Um, but it got recovered, all the metal bits, um, the original tires were still on the aircraft with air in the inner tubes, um, which those we have taken off of the tires and put them away to put on display eventually um, when we do a more thorough display about the Sturmovik and the Eastern Front and this aircraft in particular. But it was an interesting story long before I started working here at the museum. I think sometime in the late 90s or so, or early 2000s, the museum's called up this woman, her husband passed away. I think he lived out in California, if I recall correctly. It was like, we have an airplane in our hangar. Do you want it? And we're like, well, what type of aircraft is it? Well, the last thing anyone expected was that this guy had a Sturmovik sitting in his garage. So as I said, it was all the metal bits. The landing gear was still retracted in there. There was air in the tires. Um, a few years ago, we started going into the restoration. We hired a gentleman in Germany who had plans. He built the wooden wood parts. He built the wooden fuselage rear fuselage shifted out and he, his uh, woodworker came out here and built up the two wings and then we kind of cleaned it up as best as you know we could and used all the original parts and made it the uh, well actually at this point the only Sturmovik on public display here in the United States um, there's one in private hands and the Smithsonian is apparently working on theirs as well probably because you know since we got ours done they wanted to get theirs done. Yeah.